guys, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our weekly reading for April 25th through May 1st. Let's see what's going on with Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. If this is someone else in your situation, you may have lost attraction for someone that you used to be very fired up about. Um, you may have someone else in your situation who is uh, experiencing a loss of confidence, or that may be energy directed toward you um, or, or coming from you. Let's see what the challenge is. If it's you, I'm picking up on some areas who are kind of befuddled as to why people are not finding them as, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, the word would differ depending on your situation, but it's something like um, alluring, desirable, um, interesting, perhaps. It's like people aren't gravitating toward you who normally would or under circumstances that you're normally more effective. And the energy I'm getting as your reaction to this is more like um, confusion than anything else. Like wondering what, what's going on. The challenge is justice. Mm. Okay, this might be something to do with karma. Bringing things into balance. It's possible that the the influence this person had over others in their immediate surroundings was disproportionately high. And this is just things coming back into balance. Like to the person affected, it might feel like, oh, why don't I have the same influence over people anymore? But it's actually that the person had an inordinately high influence or strong influence over others leading up into this point. And this is just kind of normalizing it. Another possibility is that Someone's motivation is revenge or retribution. And if you, if anyone attempts to seek justice, like um, by exacting revenge, then I think what's happened is the the negative energy put out in that effort um, reflected back on the person and, and harmed their own situation. Show me Aries focus. Sorry, just to clarify, I, I know it wasn't as uh, eloquent as I could have made it. The, the second scenario would be the Queen of Wands who's experiencing like a uh, feeling like they've been taken down a notch. That would be the person who attempted to get revenge on someone. Like, this isn't about what, uh, what may, whether or not they were successful in their own eyes. It's more about how that effort impacted them and how they feel about themselves through like,
just the way the energy is bounced back. I, I don't know how else to describe what I'm picking up on. Let's get your focus. Magician in reverse. Th that's what I was just picking up on. Um, someone who manifested from a lower vibrational energy and it backfired. Okay. Show me the recent past. I'm not sure if I told you what this card was. Sorry, Magician in Reverse, if I didn't say it. What led up to this in the recent past? Knight of Wands, getting all fired up about something, charging ahead, acting on, um... Passion. Now... This could be acting on anger or vengeance. Usually I would expect to see the Knight of Wands reversed if, if that Knight is acting on his shadow energy. However, it's possible that this was a mixed bag. You know, it wasn't all negative, it wasn't all positive. But the blowback on... I, I do think that this is the, the same person. The Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands is the same person. Um, so I think someone took action based on something that they were really fired up about, thought that they were doing the right thing, and may have partially been correct. But there's something about how they went about it that wasn't in their highest and best good. And yeah, that, that energy... Um, affected them somehow, like reversing the Queen of Wands. Either thwarting the attempt at revenge or... making them, making them look bad to others. Or making them feel bad about themselves. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Aries' environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? Four of Swords in reverse. Whomever this wands person is, spirit is trying to influence them to to establish a practice that allows for them to have a clear head and act from a position of clear thinking. What's being addressed here is the lack of clear-headedness. Now that can be accomplished through meditation or um, any sort of uh, calming practice. Walks through nature. Sitting at the beach and staring at the ocean. There are infinite ways that people can reach that state of mind. And it's not about doing any one particular thing, it's about doing the thing that's going to work for this person. The fact that the Four of Swords is showing up here means that Spirit is already influencing this person to, um, to find that practice for themselves. So if this is you, it's likely that you've um, 
stumbled across some information recently about something having to do with, um, like, uh, whatever led for you to get fired up, whether it's, it's anger or jealousy or fear, um, you know, like I said, there are infinite ways to address those things, and it's likely, if this is you, that you've already begun coming across services or practices or information that would help you to take a different approach. It's also quite possible that this is someone close to you that you're having to deal with. Like, you're, you're caught up in their energy somehow. Show me the near future. How does this story unfold for Aries? Page of Cups, well that's quite a turnaround, isn't it? I feel like this is likely a progression, but it might be a response from another person, meaning um, I think that the wands person will start exhibiting a more pure-hearted, more meek, more um, mm, measured emotional tone. It's also possible that the person who's responding to this energy is going to do so from a, a meek tone, like not, um, not getting triggered, not getting spun into uh, like responding in anger. Show me surprise energy for Aries. Three of Cups. Okay, so this tells me that somehow you're concerned that this is going to affect your relationship, a relationship that you have. Now, it really depends on who you are in this scenario to to say like relationship with who and how it would be affected. But the fact that the Three of Cups is showing up as a surprise for Aries means that Aries expects for a relationship to be harmed through this experience. Like we're not gonna be able to hang out anymore or we're not gonna be friends anymore or it's not gonna be fun to spend time with this person anymore. The surprise is that this is something that can be overcome. Ten of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck and happy times, social interaction is still going to be possible. Show me hopes and fears. We have the Ace of Wands. Um, I actually think that this is Aries' hope that the Wands person can not lose their spark, but rein it in, renew that spark. Like, um, say this is you. You're like, well, I don't wanna lose my true nature. I don't wanna lose my fiery nature of who I am. It's integral to my character and I love who I am. However, I recognize that sometimes it gets me in trouble or it causes strife for the people I care about. So what I'd really like is to refresh that energy, like a renewal or a, a clearing out. Show me the end result. Oh, awesome. High Priestess as the end result. That tells us 
that you already know how this is going to turn out. Your intuition, your higher self, your spirit guides, your ancestors have already been telling you how this is all going to turn out. This is confirmation that you're right. For me as a reader, when High Priestess shows up as the end result, that's just a message to you that you know how this is going to turn out. Spirit is confirming that you're correct. What advice do we have for Aries? How can they work with these energies for their highest and best good? The Empress. Okay. What got the Queen of Wands into trouble was not relying on her other faculties. She was relying too heavily on her fire energy and not on her wands or uh, sorry, or not on her um, pentacles or cups or swords. The Empress embraces all four elements and she's elevated because of that. She's become a more full expression of her potential. So that's the advice here is examine your balance between your fiery nature and the other elements and recognize that you have the potential to rise up. Aries, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you back tomorrow for the dailies. Bye.